Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and this is the second video um, looking at the nine characteristics of borderline personality disorder in a little bit of depth, how they relate to me, and potentially how they might manifest in somebody else or yourself. So, today's um, um, symptom, if you like, is um, chronic feelings of emptiness and or unclear sense of self and shifting sense of self. So that sounds like three different things, um, which I, on the surface, I guess they are, but actually they kind of all link back to one thing. So I will try my best to explain what that thing is and why it can cause, you know, these different behaviors. Um, for me personally, I've actually, um, I've shown all three um, of these characteristics, depending on the situation. So, and it does all link back to basically a question around self-worth and self, um, self-image. So, for most of my adult life, um, I've always believed that, um, a relationship was going to be the be-all or end-all, the fix, if you like. So there was, someone described it um, on another channel as a void, which I kind of, I kind of get that. It's like a hole that you need to fill. Mine's something between a void and kind of almost like a darkness. Um, so when you start a new relationship, um, obviously you've got brain chemicals going into overdrive with happy feelings and mating feelings. Um, and you know, I think, most people will say that, that feels great, and as I said in my um, last video, those um, brain chemicals can actually make me go a little bit too far because it's obs almost obsessive to make sure that I land the relationship and that um, the relationship happens because this is going to be the thing that fixes me and it's going to be the thing that makes everything right in my life. And for a short amount of time, you know maybe a year up to about two years that can be the case but then as things start to um normalize or as if i start to split the person which i've discussed that kind of like how you can see people in black and white but you can't see them holistically which that's a symptom we'll get onto in a later video but as things start to go wrong let's say the feelings of emptiness and the darkness and the void it's all going to come back and it, you know, it causes quite a um, severe depression. Um, and what you've done is, or what I've done is usually, is that I've pinned my whole sense of self-worth onto my relationship, which is now going wrong, or which is now not feeling as great as it used to. So therefore, I don't feel as great as I used to, and I start to get a bit, um, a bit sort of beaten up by this. It's more s s emotional scars on top of the already quite beaten up emotional thin skin that I already have. Um, so yeah, unclear sense of self. So you do tend to pin your whole worth on your romantic relationships, on your relationships with family, which usually with BDP people can be quite rocky as well, um, and also on your friendships, um, looking at them to validate you. Um, and also, this is where the shifting behaviour comes in. You may change a lot of your opinions, your ideas, your, your core system, so, um, I'm trying to think of an example. So it's quite common. Um, some people say that BDP people are chameleons because you know we can change from one situation to next. Um, you know, I've I've heard that people can um, change their religion. Um, I've um, gone through the process of changing my um, name. That's there's more sort of family stuff involved in why I chose to do that, but I would certainly also say it is a symptom of me trying to reinvent myself or to change something, to kind of draw a line over under a previous version of me and be like, I'm not that person anymore from this step forward, I'm going to be this person. 
And this is behavior you do as an adult, or I've done as an adult, that kind of like, absolute, again, a bit of splitting going on. I no longer want to be this person. This person is depressed or miserable or dark or, or um, whatever. And I draw a line and it's like, from this day forward, I'm going to be completely different. And weirdly enough, I've managed to do some incredible things. Like if I think back to last year, um, before I was self-aware, but actually in quite a sort of a, a depressive state, um, really sort of like lost in stuff. Um, I threw myself into exercise and whilst doing that, I managed to give up smoking. I went to a vape for maybe three weeks and just dropped the milligrams of um, nicotine quite significantly. Um, and in about a month, I would say, I was vape free. Um, so when you are committed to, I'm going to change something about myself, you're quite driven, the willpower is super strong. Same as in the past when I've decided to give up alcohol. I even though I've used um, drink as um, self-medicating, um, when I have made the decision, I am not going to drink anymore because whatever reason, I've managed to do it for long periods of time and be quite strict with myself. So the willpower to change is quite strong. Um, but yes, sorry, back to the topic, um, your sense of your, your you will change um, what you hold as a value, you will change that to fit in, to be accepted for a romantic relationship, because that's going to be the thing that fixes you and makes you feel good. Um, so, with that all said, I'm probably, like, not much further forward in kind of figuring out who I am. Um, I'm doing a lot more things for myself now. Um, you know, exercise is still pretty um, pretty much at the forefront of, um, of what I'm doing in my recovery. Um, you know, some of you know that I've joined a choir and I'm getting quite involved with stuff there, which is great. Um, yeah, you know, I'm hoping with some um, DBT or some sort of therapy, I would be able to kind of be able to look inside myself and try and access who I am, what my belief systems are, what my values are, because I, I'm still struggling with all of that stuff. And, you know, I, 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 I bump into people and they're like, oh, well, you know, you're just you, you're always you. And I'm just kind of like, did you just give me a little bit of a clue as to what you mean by that because honestly even when I'm when I'm I'm, I'm I'm well and I'm functioning I still don't really have a strong sense of self maybe you know not a lot of people actually do um, and maybe they just try and stick to some sort of core value system or you know belief system or I, 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 yeah it, it's such a mystery to me to how people kind of know themselves and how they have value in themselves and I guess how they love themselves. It's just something that I haven't quite gotten to. But that's the beauty of um, mental health recovery. Um, I guess all of this stuff is to come. So um, I'm going to sign off at this point. Um, I think this one was a bit more of a kind of <laughs> off the... Um, kind of off-track rambling, which is another thing that I do, uh, but it's a really sort of difficult one to kind of uh, describe, and I think a lot of people um, with BDP or with BDP symptoms are going to experience this one um, differently. So I think this one's, yeah, it's very sort of personal to you and your environment um, in how you've adapted with this feeling of emptiness or lack of yourself. So, um, so yeah, take care of each other, stay safe, 